y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome back to my basement. As I'm about to watch for the first time, we are at the magic number, I think it's a magic number, season four, episode four of the sweeping historical Scottish American drama, Outlander. And Jamie and Claire have found a spot of land, Fraser's Ridge. And it kind of reminds me of an old Eddie Izzard joke when he's talking about the pilgrims and how they left Plymouth and landed in Plymouth. What a coincidence. It's hysterical. See that special, Dress to Kill. It's amazeballs. Anywho, so Jamie and Clara have this piece of land that they're hoping the governor will give them that they can then cultivate. And as gorgeous as it appears, it looks massive. It looks like so much work for Jamie, possibly Claire when she's not doing healer things. Possibly even Ian to help them out. I don't know. It looks massive. And I hope for their sake, when is the season? What time of year is it? Because I'm hoping it's late winter, early spring. So they have enough time to build a shelter before winter sets in. Again, these are weird things that I, I think about. So, <laughs> oh, we also have another new paranormal element. Claire has found in the woods half a top half of a skull, like you do, uh, fillings in the teeth, which makes us think that it is from somebody from the future. So how far back in the past were they when they died? Who does it belong to? Why is it only just that top half and a stone, an interesting, some sort of sparkly stone? Was that put there specifically for Claire to find? Did she happen to stumble upon it? Where's the rest of them? <laughs> what does this mean for the future? I haven't, haven't a clue at all. But that's why we watch, because we're going to find out. And we also went ahead, ahead back ahead. Brianna and Roger went to a lovely little Highland Games. Roger asked her to marry him. Brianna went, ooh, I don't think I'm quite into the marriage thing, but I'd like to be with you, just not in holy matrimony. And Roger, Roger went with the, all of you or none of you. <laughs> he had some of the classic, classic romance novel hero lines with the, uh, it's like, oh, what was, what were some of the, oh, it's like. If you don't care enough to marry me, then I don't care enough to have you in my bed. I'll have all of you or none of you. And if I wanted you in my bed, I would have had you on your back 12 weeks. Like, it was just, it was great in its terribleness. So now he's stuck in North Carolina, right? She was his ride. That's going to be an interesting trip back if they do go back together. Hmm. Hmm. Are they done forever? Is that the last we see or hear of Roger? I don't think so because a friend said, oh, yes, this is the beginning of Roger in his asshole phase. And I'm like, beginning? I don't, know. I don't know, but I'm excited to get back to it. And I'm also excited that you are here with me. So I'm going to get under the big cozy blanket. I've got all my beverages on standby. Thanks again for joining me and let's just get to it. That is quite the deed. Commendable decision on your part, Mr. Fraser. Uh, one uh, did not make it lightly, Your Excellency. Of course, well, with 10,000 acres of His Majesty's land at your disposal. 10,000? A task I welcome, sir. 10,000. You found good men willing to settle there also? I have my best man in Wilmington putting out the world. Well, I would encourage you to uh, take your time choosing settlers. So-called regulators are stirring up trouble in the Piedmont, pitching themselves against my tax collectors. Can your sheriffs not discourage them from taking matters into their own hands? Well, I believe that they, too, are exacerbating matters. Mm. Mm. It's said that the Highlander has much in common with the Indian savage. Savagery can exist in many forms, Your Excellency. I've witnessed it in both Prince and Pauper. And guys in red coats and silver wigs. Well, there is the law, and there is what is done. Please, we understand each other, Mr. Fraser. We're just the type of settler North Carolina needs. So, is Jamie then allowed to give 
parts of his land up to other people to settle with him? Was that what the governor was laying down? Oh, thank you, Ian. 10,000 acres. Ooh, I asked my dad, I saw him last night, go, how big was grandpa's raised farm? He said it was 20 acres that he worked by himself. I can't imagine 10,000. And what's the matter? I miss my mother. Oh, poor thing. I can. You don't care for her, and that there's bad blood betwixt you. But with a bear coming, I wish she was here with me. Whatever you do, don't send for her. Your mother did a fine job raising you. And I'm sure you'll do just as well. And I want any settlers and make us trouble. You find Highlanders, if you're able. And the men from Asmuir Prison, they'll be hereabouts. Oh, yeah, we're gonna run into Murtaugh again? We will write to you the moment our bairn arrives. You have that faraway look in your eyes, Sassanach. Uh, it's nothing, I just... Marsley. Oh, no, she misses Brianna. <laughs> With nothing but your hand and an axe, maybe a little shovel, little saw. Oh, oh, oh. But no permits, no permitting needed because there's no sewers <laughs> and no plumbing. I never tire of this view, this sort of painting. People would say it wasn't real. <laughs> we must have placed a hundred posts. Oh, well, this is ours. My country, tis of the sweet land of liberty. Poem from your time. It's the song <sighs> called America. It is the same melody as. God save great George, our king. Oh. You're telling me the Americans stole it from King George and made it their own? <laughs> mm -hmm. We did. Oh. Heartily applaud it, then. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking, you know I keep thinking, the governor gave this to them. Where did the governor get the... Who had this land before the governor gave it away? And are those people going to come back? to an animal like that. Maybe a raccoon? There are other wild animals. Bears. Though it might be a bit late in the year for them. It's got your hackles up. Yeah. What do you see? There's something behind us. Mm-hmm. The people who want their land back. James Fraser. I'm James Fraser. Why is it that grandmothers seem to be in the habit of dying just when my students have an essay? Who's he gonna find in the book? <laughs> Mount Helican, now known as Grandfather Mountain. One nearby settlement called Fraser's Ridge provides yet another example of a Scottish <laughs> name in the surrounding area. Is that a cab that I see before me? Well, the eye. Unless you want to live under moss and grass the rest of your days, <laughs> this will be your wee shed, Sassanach. You want me to have settlers? So you can bring them patients here. Yeah, you would think you'd want to heal her a little bit closer to the people. <laughs> Oh, jeez. They've returned. Oh, just, just, oh. Hi. What's up? Okay. 
You got to find another way to communicate. <laughs> I have a feeling he's saying that's Cherokee land. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where that's from. <laughs> I, I am well. And you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Just busy with school and all. I was just thinking about you. Who is she now? You were. Wondering if you had a nice holiday. I have some news. Claire found Jamie. They lived in North Carolina. <laughs> it's not far from Mount Helicon. The place where the festival was held. Aye. You're kidding. And a letter from a woman to her family in England, which mentions a James Fraser and, quote, his wife, Claire, a healer. Roger, I cannot tell you what this means to me. Well, I have essays to mark. Yeah. Goodbye, Brianna. <laughs> See, on the one hand, you'd be like happy, like, yay, mom was successful. She found Jamie. They had a settlement. But I'd also be like nervous, like, does it have when they died and what happened to them? We found out something like, terrible happened. Somewhere else. Oh, would it be better not knowing? You remember? skull I showed you, the Indian I saw. I had thought that perhaps he was the one who led us, guided us to this place. What if it was a warning? <laughs> no, you think of that. <laughs> what if he knows that something bad happens here? I cannot tell you what it is for me to feel the rightness of this place. I cannot speak of this tribe. You tell them I, I mean to honor the boundary lines and... Perhaps we should make a gesture of goodwill. I'll speak with John Quincy Myers in the morning. Where's John Quincy hanging out? Is he back at River Run? How far is River Run from here? Hmm. Got a Stephen Bonnet bus in here. Mmm. Where are they? They're hiding in the shadows, unlike you guys that are just out and open. They took our meat. They mean for us to starve. Oh, it's Finley. Oh no. <gasps> oh no. Is that a bear? This isn't the Cherokee. This is a bear. Come to think of it, the Cherokee did tell me they'd been visited by a Skeely Yona. Yona is their word for bear, but Skeely I'm less familiar with. Probably means big ass bear. By returning your boundary post to you yesterday, they've given you a message. <laughs> Which is? I was hoping to make him an offer, but then I can what exactly. Tobacco is always welcomed. I obtained a goodly amount from your aunt. Oh. I'll be happy to oblige you a portion of it. That bear may have been a stroke of fortune. What was the bear's name in Brave? Mordu? Did Mordu come to North Carolina? To haunt everybody. We mended it, yes? Aye. Almost. Ah. Do you suppose the bear might still be roaming about? Possibly. It's not a bad idea to do some practicing. God. They're coming at night. Oh, no. Mordo. Jeez. Uncle Jamie. Who's getting maimed? Who's getting maimed? Someone's losing an arm or a limb or something. Rolo? God. 
<laughs> what have you got? That's human. Oh, is it John Quincy? Oh, no. Oh, no. He looks so pale. I need my medical kit. We have to get him back to the shelter now. You need a blood infusion and and lots of things. You need a light source. She needs lights. Severe muscle damage. Ian, hold it. Apply pressure. Are they trying to say these people are shapeshifters? Close. You'll get yourself killed. If I don't go after it, it'll come back. I'll go with you. No. no you Stay gotta... here and help your auntie. You understand? Hi. I don't think a musket ball is going to be enough to bring down this bear. Who are you going to shoot on accident then? Oh, this is just... No, no. He's been bitten. Oh, what is it? Oh, jeez! Oh, no! Oh, no! Well, this isn't good. This isn't, this isn't good. Who's going to shoot him? Stab! There we go. That's how. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's how you make friends. So how do you make peace? <laughs> how do you make peace, James? <laughs> Shio Ginali. You killed him? I did. He's only a man. He's not a monster. Is he one of their guys? Oftentimes, man is monster. You knew he was a man? Yes. He lived among us. He harmed his woman one year ago. That is not our way. So he was banished to live alone in the woods, no Cherokee. So he went deep into the woods, and his mind was lost forever. But we could not kill what was already dead to us. Now, there will be no more trouble from him. Well, there'll be trouble for me and my family. Death follows white men like the great spirit follows that. And young we are. <laughs> my family and I wish to live peacefully. Wow, he's up. He's up. <laughs> What's the daughter least they huh? He prays that no more blood is spilled between us. You know the he. You know the he. It means bear killer. <laughs> that is how you will be known to our people. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm Claire. She had a dream about you. Hmm. You flew over the water and swallowed the moon. The white raven flew back and laid an egg in the palm of her hand, and there was a shining stone inside. She knew this was great magic, that mm. the stone could heal sickness. You have medicine now, but you will have more. When your hair is white like snow, you will have <laughs> wisdom beyond time. So Claire lives where, until her hair turns white with snow? 
You must not be troubled. Death is sent from the gods. It will not be your fault. Okay. Not sure I understand. I think it means people are going to be dying around you, Claire. Or that she can't save everybody. How did it go? Fine. No, I'm not sure if she was happy to hear from me or if it was the news I'd found that her mother... You mean when she went back in time to find Jamie Fraser? Back in... I think someone had heard stories from her grandmother. Granny was a caller at the Stones. I can all the stories of people disappearing. So you knew? Rihanna must have been thrilled. Yeah, I sure was. I thought it might be a new beginning or something, but then... You haven't heard from her. Well, Pumpkin, you told her all or nothing. What? I wasn't sure if I should show you. Oh, God, no. What did she find? Granny used to help the Reverend with his research. An obituary. It is with grief that the news is received of the death by fire of James Mackenzie Fraser and his wife in a conflagration that destroyed the home and the settlement of Fraser's Ridge. What the hell? She had this the whole time. For all we know, they died two years after receiving their land. I can't tell her. But, uh, but shouldn't she know the truth? Her mother's dead, Roger. She's been dead, Fee. Yeah, that's the For crazy over thing. Over 200 years. This'll just break her heart. All over again. Hi. Fiona, what's stopping you from sending it? Oh, the work that went into it. Oh my God. <laughs> that would have taken forever. <laughs> uh, and over here, the wee pantry. She's got knickers on, or britches, britches. She's got britches on. That was a rather chilling segue. This is Gail, her roommate. Is this? The Roger? Uh, it says, <laughs> I. He hopes. She didn't tell you? Tell me what? She went to Scotland. <gasps> what? To visit her mother. Uh. How long ago? A couple of weeks ago. But her mother would be in North Carolina. Um, thanks, Gail. I'll try it again. A couple of weeks prior? So I'm trying to put the pieces together. Faster than me think, sitting and thinking about it. So, <laughs> Brianna hears her family settled in North Carolina. Cool. So, she, maybe she goes down there, does some research. Because Fiona, I missed where Fiona said she found this article. Because why would there be an article in Scotland about something that happened in North Carolina? So possibly Brianna went down to North Carolina and she found she found the information herself and went, eh, I'm gonna go visit. I'm gonna go try to save them. The only way I could do that, I gotta go to Scotland, go through the stones, and somehow find my way back to the United States. So much easier said than done. Such as also building a cabin with just again. <laughs> But you got, you did what you had to do. You did what you had to do. What else were you gonna do with your time? Then build a shelter. Man, that was a lot of work. 
That was a lot of work. So has Brianna already gone through the stones? As I'm guessing she's going to be able to somehow. So Jamie and Claire build their little thing, supposedly have, <laughs> I'm gonna say supposedly, have okay relations with their Cherokee neighbors. However, I just saw the next episode of Savages. That could mean so many things because as we've seen, Sometimes the most evil thing, the most wicked thing is man. And usually the most civilized man is the savage. Got lines from Pocahontas going through my head. <laughs> but we know we're only episode four coming into five. So we know more, more obstacles going to be thrown in Jamie and Claire's way. Obviously they survive them because we got three more seasons, but oh, it's going to be gonna be a rough one it's gonna be a rough one and i want you there with me to send virtual hugs and go it's okay it's gonna be okay because <laughs> it is a lot more fun when we do this together okay so thank you so much for being with me especially you hit subscribe and go ahead take care of yourself drink some water come back and watch the next episode in the queue so thanks again you all and until next time